No one is safe from scammers. In this latest story, we're going to talk about a UK scammer that stole $650,000 from over 250 Twitter users. Let's dive into this. Welcome back, everyone. Ah, another scammer story. I, I wanted to cover this one because this one affects Twitter specifically. And of course, I, you know, for the people who know me, uh, you know that I spend a lot of time on Twitter. So yeah, this one kind of hits home. And uh, essentially, the, the type of scam that uh, this person used, it's a very old scam. It's a scam that we've seen time and time again. And yet... This person was able to fleece $650,000 out of 250 Twitter users. We're going to take a look at how they did it, and we're going to discuss a little bit about how to avoid getting into these traps. Before we start, have to give a shout out to Zach XBT and his awesome sleuthing, of course. Of course, he is the one that uncovered this story. The UK scammer at Ape31 at 60711 has stolen more than $650,000 from 250 plus X users. So it's actually more than 250 users. Anyways, in the past year, posting fake PNL screenshots. So PNL screenshots, for the people who don't know what that is, PNL stands for profit and lost. Anyways, from a Bybit demo account and running a news account to funnel unsuspecting victims into paid services before blocking them upon receiving payment. In the first example here, we're going to take a look. One victim sent $500 to Ape31 in order to do a copy trade. After payment, he then asked for 20 k to trade for them, claiming he has a zero lick price. I got to be honest, I looked up what the hell a zero lick price is. So it, apparently it has something to do with the price of whatever equity it is or whatever whatever asset they're trading. Uh, essentially, like they don't have a price. He doesn't have a price that he has to liquidate at, that he has to sell at. That's that's the best that I could find for that in, in terms of a definition. Moving on, Ape31 gives the victim an API key to watch the trades, which are fake. Ape31 shows the victim fake profit and loss screenshots to make them think they are up a lot. He then blackmails them into sending another 20K by claiming he cannot claim the profits until more is sent. Eventually, the victim is blocked. So right here, we can see the screenshot provided by Zach XBT. Okay, send me back my tokens, man. It's the right thing to do. I can't withdraw anything until total deposit is 40K. So 20K reminder, uh, 20K remainder. So if you send him another 20K on top of the 20K that you've already sent him, once he is at 40, he can send you back 20. <laughs> like, I, I don't even know what to say. Like, I'm laughing about this, right? Because I, I think that this is comical and ridiculous. But I, I genuinely do feel bad for the people that, that get screwed by this type of stuff. And, and again, it's, I know this sounds terrible, but we scam ourselves, right? Like, people convince themselves that something is not a scam. And, and then after that, they do a bunch of mental gymnastics uh, to continue on in the behavior. I mean, at this point, right? Like this, this person should easily be able to figure out that this is not going the right way for them. So moving on, this is a now a completely different victim. Okay, so here's another victim uh, who sent Ape31 3K, shared his conversation with Zach XBT. It was a similar story where he claimed it was risk-free and he could take his balance from 10K to 100K in a few days. And of course, that's what they always do. They, they essentially promise you outsized returns with minimal to no risk, right? And, and essentially, it's, it's obviously just to make it seem like it's a no-brainer, right? It's a no-brainer and it's super easy. And of course, right, it, if you don't do this, then you'll be missing out. Right. And we, we can't have FOMO. So you may as well just give them the three K and see what happens. I mean, look, what you know, 10 K, 10, 10 K to a hundred, right? There's, there's a big chance that I can make 90 K on top of that 10 and end up at a hundred, right? As opposed to me just losing the 10, which in the grand scheme of things, doesn't seem that much that this is again, that this is our, our stupid monkey brains, uh, just 
not understanding risk reward. We could see here one of the screenshots from the uh, Ape 3111 account, right? Uh, essentially showing you these fake profit and loss uh, numbers to, to prove to you how well they're doing, right? Huge plays this week. Starting balance was 200K, okay? And just finished another $1 million run and now sitting at 7 point three million dollars that's right guys that's right from 200k to 7.3 million and if you aren't giving this guy your money then you're missing out it's ah it's so bad all right let's keep going here is another example right here's another victim that reached out to zach who was scammed for 500 dollars but shared a trading view account uh, that Ape31 logged into with a UK telecom IP address. And there you go, folks. They were able to find a whole bunch of information from this, this person's IP address. And here is some messaging uh, from, the, from the victim. And I want people to keep in mind, right? Um, you know, $500 may not seem a lot to, to one person, but everything is relative. Okay. Everything is relative and we don't all live the exact same life. So $500 to, you know, to one person may seem like a drop in the bucket, but to somebody else, this could be the difference, right? Between uh, essentially, uh, being able to, you know, pay your bills and eat meals and, and not. Okay. So it's, it's just about understanding that, you know, even though it's, you know, maybe meaningless to you, to some people, this is, you know, you don't know what it took for them to get to that point, and it, it's important to keep that perspective in mind. Anyways, let's take a look at the message here. This person literally ruined my life. He made gain his, he made me gain his trust since he found me vulnerable and took all my money since he offered a copy trade option. And I paid him like $500. Then he was ghosting me and asked me to send him my money to trade it with his total capital so it's more easy for him. I refused, but he kept giving me wrong signs with high leverage, and eventually he made me down to $600. That's when I was done and asked him to do something about it. But again, he asked me to send it, so I did. Please don't judge me because this motherfucker really played me out, and I was in a very weak position. Also, there are a lot of details in the story that I skipped. Moving on to this post from Zach XBT. Here we go. He graphed out the 16 exchange deposit addresses from wallet victims shared with him, uh, which received 650K uh, in the past year, right? From these 250 plus people. And let's take a look at this graph. This is pretty frightening. And of course, you got to hand it to, to Zach XBT for doing this amazing sleuth work. Okay, we're going to take a listen to some audio here from victim number three, uh, and this was the, the victim that was able to capture the IP address from the scammer's trading view login. Um, so let's take a listen to this. Oh, you do the network, and so with different firms, VCs, um, and just work yourself up, basically. I think you need minimum it's between 10, 20 uh, mil, to get institutional account um but yeah after a while you work your way up one second uh, ripple just got exploited so i need to see what's going on there all right what's the takeaway from all of this number one number one um, I know that it seems really tempting to believe that somebody else has some specialized knowledge um that, that you may not have, and, and you may want to believe that these people um, have some incredible capability to create gains for you. And, and you need to really ask yourself, right? If this person is so successful and so capable at trading for themselves, why do they need your money? Like, think about that. Why do they need your money? And of course, right? An excuse is that that's always given as well. You know, if they have more money to play with, then they can make more money. And unfortunately, that's part of the allure of this. And this is kind of what gives this type of behavior in some cases a pass because you'll sit there and be like, well, wait a second, you know, like I give money to an investment firm, you know, and, and, and they're, you know, they're, they're buying, they're buying equities um, for the most part they aren't daily trading your money, 
okay, for, for the most part. They are not day trading your money. They are also not supposed to be commingling funds, okay? But when you speak to these people online, okay, these, these guys that are showing you these fake profit and loss trades and stuff like that, all of that money is just going into their account. And for the most part, they are not trading. All they're doing is taking that money and living off of it. And essentially, if you are getting a payout, you are getting a payout from a new sucker, okay, from somebody else that they just were able to scam money from. Now, another piece to this is this, okay? Um, when I first got into this space, I, I always tell you guys this, I fell for every single bullshit scam that you can think of. Why? because I actually wanted to try them. I, I, I'm not kidding you. I, I fell for those, uh, what, are, what are called H Y I P S right? High yield investment products. And this is exactly this type. I shouldn't say exactly. It's very similar to this type of crap. Okay. So you go, you send your money or in this case, your Bitcoin. Okay. To this third party platform is just some rinky dink website that shows you a bunch of packages and what the possible returns are. OK, and essentially what they do is usually they write up a description about the uh, intricacies and um, the sophisticated trading algorithm that their bots use in order to grind out pennies in nanoseconds and all of this throughout the day equals that's how you get this percentage of return. OK, so you in your mind uh, create this idea that there's this magical bot that is doing all this amazing trading and you're just going to get free money. Um, and yeah, when I first got into this space, I did those things. I wanted to try them out. I, I understood that they were scams and I was like, you know what? I'm going to be smarter than the scammer because I'm going to pull out my funds before they rug pull. Well, spoiler alert. I never got to pull out my funds before they rug pulled. Okay. Um, because essentially what happened in my monkey brain was that every single day that would pass, I would still see my balance there and it would go higher. I was like, well, it's still safe. It, that uh, they'll just re I'll just reinvest it one more day. I'll just reinvest it one more day. Well, then all of a sudden two and a half months pass. Right. And that day has turned into an extra 75 days, maybe 80 days, you know, and all of a sudden, this scam has run its course, but you don't know. You don't know that. And then all of a sudden, one day, you go to log in and nothing's there, right? The website is just completely gone. It's just page cannot be displayed. You get one of those hosting errors or something like that. In this particular case, it's a little bit different. This person uh, hits you up on social media, uh, extracts whatever money they can out of you, telling you whatever lies they need to tell you in order to get this money out of you. And then they block you and ghost you. And that's the end of that. So the major takeaway, if somebody is hitting you up and trying to get you to give them your money so that they can trade with your money, look, I know, I know it's tempting to give into the FOMO. Just don't do it. Like, like, look, the worst thing that's going to happen, think of it like this. Okay. The worst thing that's going to happen is that you're going to keep your initial capital. That's the worst, right? The worst is that you're safe. I don't know if you ask me that that's a pretty good place to be. And it allows me to be in position to take advantage of another opportunity later on down the line, a legitimate opportunity down the line, rather than getting scammed in this bogus crap and ending up with nothing. So for me, I, I just, yeah, I, I, strongly, strongly suggest guys, I, I know it sounds tempting. Don't fall for it. Okay. A lot of times, you know, the, the key, the goal of this is just to separate you from your Bitcoin or separate you from your cash. That's all it is. They're going to tell you what they need to tell you. Okay. They're going to say whatever it is they got to say. Screenshots can be doctored. Everything can be modified. Don't fall for this crap. Anyways, again, shout out to Zach XBT for the amazing sleuthing work that he did. This is all I wanted to talk about today. I will catch you all tomorrow. <laughs>